In measure 47, we have this very beautiful triplet passage played by the right hand. And to help execute that and to give you a really beautiful musical effect, you can use a circular motion. So the first three notes would be a downward movement, then up. I'm saying down and up, I'm thinking of a downward circular motion and then up. So I'm just making little tiny circles in the right hand. So let's see what that sounds like when we play it a bit faster. gives you a very musical effect and it also is very beautiful to look at. Something that's very helpful when you're playing impressionistic music is to think in terms of different strokes that a painter might use to achieve a particular effect. We can transfer that to the keyboard. For instance, in measure 57, we have this to the E right here. So a nice effect would be just to help lighten up that E by sliding a little bit on the keys. And we can also, if you look at measure 58, we have these long lines under or on, on top of the V. A and F sharp. So thinking of individual strokes on a canvas. Another practice tip involves measures 26 through 29. And in these measures, we have some notes that are helpful if we can hold on to them while we are playing other notes. Now, you can't always do that in some pieces. Uh, oftentimes, the pedal just has to hold the note for us. But in measure 26 through 29, we can use these notes that need to be held as anchors for our our, fi our fingers and for our hand. So measure 26, we have this C sharp. While the bottom of the hand plays this little um, triplet passage. All right, so think of the fifth finger supporting your hand while the bottom fingers move. And then we have extra help in the left hand because that A is being held. So you've got the thumb and the C sharp supporting as you play that passage there. And the same thing happens again in measure 28. We have the F sharp. And then we actually have another F sharp in the left hand. So let's see what that looks like. 